Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another eyeshadow palette collection tag. This tag was created by Angelica Lyermar here on YouTube. I'm sorry if I got your last name wrong. I couldn't see a video where you pronounced it. But these questions and this tag are so like unique and creative, and I, I just I saw the questions and I knew I had to do it. So thank you so much, Angelica, for creating this tag. Her video and her channel will be linked in the description box and first pinned comment down below. So this tag has eight questions, and they're very unique questions about eyeshadow palettes in your collection. So let's go ahead and get started. So question number one is pick an eyeshadow palette in your collection that represents you. And I went through and I really like, this is the one palette I keep coming back to. I always talk about how amazing it is. And I think the color story, and that's the question. So number one is color story. So the color story of the palette represents you. And for me, it has to be the color pop good sport palette like this. This color story I think represents me just to a T. It is fall, it is gorgeous, there's yellow, there's purple, there's greens, and they're all grungy, but they're beautiful and vibrant. Everything about this palette I think just screams me. And I love it and I'm so glad that I have this in my collection. And this, this is actually a palette where I thought about panning it, but I don't want to. It's limited edition, I wanna keep this in my collection because I, I love these shades and I love the palette. Number two is pick an eyeshadow palette in your collection that represents you for the packaging. So the packaging of a palette represents you and not the color story. So I cheated and went with two palettes, but they're both from the same brand. These are from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, and the first one is the Descendant palette. So of course, shaped like a coffin. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, and then once you open it up, it's this beautiful like gold and then that bat-shaped mirror. It's just gorgeous. And I wanna zoom in on the actual front of it for you because look, that is stunning. I love that so much. <laughs> and the other palette that I love so much from them is the Elvira palette. Again, <laughs> shaped like a coffin, but the inside, look, I love how it's pop-up. So first these pop-up, there's a candelabra, there is a cobweb, the mirror is the blade of a dagger. <laughs> I love this so much. I basically love the packaging and aesthetic of everything from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs because it's it's amazing. It really is. And it matches my aesthetic, <laughs> if you couldn't already tell. So I love these so much. And I think for palettes that would represent me for the packaging, this. If I could get like the Good Sport palette in like this kind of spooky packaging, it would be me. That would be me. <laughs> Question number three is pick an eyeshadow palette in your collection that represents spring. Now I went through my collection and there's like one palette I always pick out every spring and it's just spring in a palette for me. And that's the Kylie Cosmetics Calm Before the Storm palette. And this is just a cute pastel palette, but it's just like the perfect spring palette. The top is all mattes, the bottoms are all shimmers, and it's just like it's like an essential spring palette. It's really got everything that you need in here. And it's good quality. They're pigmented. They blend out really nicely. And they look really, really cute. And like I said, this is the one palette I like go back to. And like literally every spring, I pull out of my collection to use in my everyday makeup basket. <laughs> Question number four is pick an eyeshadow palette in your collection that represents happy. Now to me, I think the color that represents happy to me is yellow. I don't know if that's for like, is that that's a standard thing or if that's just a me thing, but whenever I see yellow, I think happy. So I picked out the Midas Cosmetics Lemonade palette because I think this, oh, I just dug my nail right into it. <laughs> All right, as I was saying, this is just such a great like, yellow palette. It's got just the right tones to it. It's really hard to find a good monochromatic yellow palette and it's 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 right here. You can stop looking, it's here. The shades are beautiful. And whenever I look at this and see these yellows, it makes me think happy. <laughs> and now I've got yellow jammed up all under my nails. <laughs> Question number five is, pick an eyeshadow palette in your collection that represents the dark slash grungy in you. And for me, the first pick of this would actually be a palette I've already panned, so I no longer have it in my collection. It would be the ABH Subculture palette. That palette was my gothic grungy dream. And I decided to pan that. I have the entire playlist where I panned that. I think it was in 2019 is when I panned it. I'll throw it up in the cards. Um, but what I do still have is this palette from Bad Habit. And this is the Bad Habit Retro Love Palette, which was a dupe for subculture. So I still have the, the same vibes in my collection. And I'm glad because there are certain shades in here that I just love going back to, like this neon shade, which was a dupe for electric in that palette. These mustard yellows, oh, just, mm. 
You know, I really want to go back and rewatch my panning series now because I came out with some beautiful looks using subculture and I almost like want to rebuy it, but I, I'm not going to because <laughs> I already have this in my collection if I want to get those same kind of looks and tones. Um, but this, this is like the grungy dream. <laughs> And I feel so bad for the ABH palette because it got such a bad reception and I really think it was just bad timing and um, Maybe the batches were messed up But I bought like at the very first release of the palette is when I bought mine and I loved it and I panned the whole thing So I don't know if it was just the way people were using the palette or the people didn't like the way it performed But I loved that palette to death panned the entire thing <laughs> And to be quite honest, I'd probably do it again if I wasn't trying to do my best to not buy myself another palette that I've already panned when I have all of these palettes. Question number six is, pick an eyeshadow palette in your collection that represents the girly in you. And to me, this is like my perfect girly-ish palette, and that is the Millennial Pinks palette from Melt Cosmetics. This is beautiful because you can get these really soft pretty like girly pinks and then you can come down here and get some really beautiful like dark smoky looks and you got that beautiful gunmetal silver uh, to die for. Um, I love this palette. I love the idea to put the pinks with those dark smoky tones. I love the um, the packaging. I love that it's millennial pink. Uh, I've, I don't know when that started but I do think it's really cute. I'm a millennial so of course it also fits uh, but this would be my pick for the perfect girly palette in my collection. Question number seven is pick an eyeshadow palette in your collection that represents fun. Now I went through my whole collection thinking what what do I think of with fun and I had to pick this palette out. Whenever I, I, I have fun using this palette and this palette reminds me of summer that like just summer fun and like early fall too. Okay, so this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I love this palette to death. This is such a great versatile palette. I've hit pan in a couple of the shades and I'm actually kind of afraid to use them up because I love those shades, especially Luscious, so much. Um, but I have fun with this palette. Looking at this palette makes me think of like, like late summer, early fall, just like relaxing fun time. So th this is my pick. I, might, I probably did not explain that well enough, but I like this palette <laughs> a lot. And surprisingly, I've had this palette for a few years now and it still smells like peach. Shocking. <laughs> and our final question, question number eight, is pick an eyeshadow palette in your collection that represents inspiration. I picked a newer palette to my collection because this is one of the first palettes in a long time that I've looked at it and I didn't have to like think too hard to get inspiration for looks. Like literally, I had combinations of looks popping out at me. And I'm wearing it on my eyes today. It's the Butte Bean and Shroud It's Freaking Bats palette. I did do a first impressions video on this. If you missed it, I'll throw it up in the cards. Uh, unfortunately, it did take seven months to get to me, but oh, this is just such a unique and inspiring palette. I love this so much. I have only used it for about a week, so I don't want to give like my final, final thoughts on it, but so far, I'm loving it, and this is the most inspirational palette I've brought into my collection in a long time, and that is saying a lot. So this is the first thing that popped into my head when I had to pick a palette that screams inspiration. So that is everything for this tag. Thank you so much, Angelica, for creating this tag. This was so creative. I actually just subscribed to her channel, so make sure you check out her video for the tag and her channel listed down below. If you do this tag, I tag anyone who has a YouTube channel who hasn't already done this, please do this tag. It was so creative and I had so much fun with it and I think you will too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.